All right. Oh, let me turn that down. Some bad feedback. Maybe it should be better. That's the layout we want. All right, how's everybody going? So I'm going to kind of paint and blend this Colossus sketch card. Um, I have my two reference images here, side by side. And Oh yes, so I'm going to blend this. This is the painting method, which is a, a blend with uh, light baby oil, odorless. That's my solvent. And what's the colors on here are a wax based pencil, like from Faber Castell, they're called polychromos. And what the baby oil kind of does is activate that pigment of wax and it, you're able to blend and move that pigment um, however you want it. Um, all right, so let's get into it. I'm going to use this one and then I'll get my, my jar of paint brushes and I'll put it here. So I usually use this one, this paint brush from Montmartre. It's pretty thin. I think that's what I usually, um, use for sketch cards for the detail anyway. All right, and then what I do is take it out and I literally just hold it and dip it in. Um, there's two, there's people that are watching at the moment too, viewers. Are you guys from Facebook or are you guys from Twitch? Let me know. I'd be interested to find out because I'm currently working, working out how to use Twitch at the moment. And uh, it's quite very interesting. Okay. Oh, we've got a third viewer. Hello to that third viewer. How are you guys going? It's 4 p.m. here at Sydney. It's quite windy. It's quite a lovely day. Yeah. Ah, two viewers from Twitch. Hello to those two viewers from Twitch. I'm just going to open up my reference image. Hold my bone. All right, and then let's get into it. Maybe this time I'll put it here and I'll just dip it in. And then as you can see, see, so it is like an oil. And then, yeah, dip it in. So we're going to work from top left to bottom right. I'm oh, sorry, top right to bottom left. Let's see how we go. Uh, okay, then we're going to stick with one color. Let's let's do the outline of the background for a moment. Can I just rub it? Activate it. creates this kind of beautiful, um, subtle, blurry kind of blended look, which I really, really like. And so you can, uh, kind of, you can kind of use this to your advantage if you want to make things not as sharp or composition-wise not as, um, a little bit blurry, so out of focus. So very good for, let's say, background areas, right? Because we don't want that in focus. We want the character, pretty much just the character in focus. Mm -hmm. All 
So you pretty much just rub it in, rubbing it in and like you can feel it when it starts to activate underneath visually. It's pretty much just that. Um, at every stage I like to scan in um, the process so I can document uh, in my scanner. So when we finish blending with the baby oil, I will scan it in. So I'll let it dry and scan it in as well. Sometimes we don't want, well, I don't want that kind of like pencil sketch look for my colors. I want kind of a smooth, um, kind of like a semi painterly look uh, for my colors. I really like vibrant colors. And the Polychromos by Faber Castell can really achieve this. To get that super vibrant, you're probably going to apply maybe a couple of um, layers of colored pencil and you're probably going to apply them with a lot of pressure. So you do have to choose your paper stock wisely. So you don't want something too thin. You don't want uh, paper stock that's, you know, uh, going to break easily. So you want a pretty thick GSM, anything above 100, 120 GSM. It's what I recommend to y'all. Yeah, man, I love it. Yeah, cool. This is looking really cool. All right. What's everyone been up to? Last night we had so we had we went and had dinner with family. So today I still feel full from that eating session. Um, so I've just been chilling out, working out how to use Twitch, and just like recovering. My stomach is still recovering from last night. Nice, there we go, activating the dark. Yes. Good. Oh, I'm gonna, hang on, let me just check something. I think my phone camera, which shows the sketch card, is that a lower resolution than I want it to be at 360p instead of 720. Okay, I'm going to lay down my brush here. Let me see if I can adjust it on the fly. Huh? Okay, so we go ball like this, then I go to camera. I go to camera here and I go down to advanced. Just to throw this forward, it's low definition 360p. The streaming service I'm using is StreamYard and I have this option for HD. Let's see, let me know how that looks. Maybe it already looks much better now to me. Um, yeah, much better. All right, let's keep going. Um, I want to do this in the next one hour, this blending thing. So, the title of the stream is Random Chat and Draw. Um, so definitely, yeah, ask me any questions, what you guys reckon of this method or what you guys, if you guys are into drawing or what you guys do. Um, been getting to sketch cards for the last couple of months and yeah, really enjoying the community. Um, enjoying working out how to create art at this size, which is very, very interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, plus the last couple of days I've been determined to learn how to use Twitch. That's a bit too much oil on. on. Um, 
switch between activating the wax pigment by either up and down strokes or small circles. Yeah, I think my next sketch card, I want to try just like a, I want to try using dry acrylic paint, so no water mixing. And I want to see if I can retain that vibrancy of the color instead of a watercolor washed out kind of look. Um, and then maybe I'll, I'll reserve the um, Polychromous Faber Castell pencils just for the shading. Um, and use exclusively the acrylic paints for flat colors. You know? And at that flat color stage, I want everything to be really vibrant. See how that looks. All right, so applying the solvent, which is which one I'm using as baby oil. Let's activate the wax pigment underneath. Looking good. Okay, so for this stream, I've decided to put it out to my Facebook art page, who else? My Twitch stream. She has, has a whopping of two followers. <laughs> and this is my road to 50 followers. Oh, also, if I get a follower on stream, I will open a packet of trading cards. Um, if you go, hang on, let me just finish this pass. So let me just finish the background and then I'll show you the packets of cards I have to open. Um, and I was thinking of, I have a weekly mail call and uh, weekly update stream um, that I do to my, uh, to some various private Facebook groups that I'm on uh, in regards to trading cards. Um, so. I'll show you what I have as in trading cards, trading card packets to open. It's looking good on the inside, yes. So there you go. All right, happy with that. Clean the brush. What I'll do is just get some, yeah, just kind of dry it off. Okay, that's good. So let's. Oh, so you can see the oil coming through in the background. And this is another thing with oil. If you're going to do a back design of this card, yeah, you're going to have to maybe not do that. So that's what we got. It's a bit smoother than before. Not as vibrant as I want. Maybe I'll have to apply another pass, another layer of um, sketch uh, polychromous pencils, colors. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so let me show you the box of uh, trading cards. This is the box. Got it from a gentleman by the name of Mr. Will Hurt, and he has a small business where he um, has a product called Mystery Boxes. And this is the pack of cards that I purchased off of him. And let me just open and show you guys. One pile. So we have, oh, maybe I can do it like this. Uh, Women of Marvel. So I get two two packs of that to the mystery box. Avengers Cree Skrull War. Two packs of them. I get, uh, oh, okay, one packet of Marvel villains. Sounds pretty cool. One packet of Deadpool. Uh, packet of 
Marvel dossier, whatever the hell that is. No, two packets actually. Packet of Marvel annual 2018 to 19. Yeah, and so some of these, yeah, so if I get a follower, if I get a new follower from Twitch, I will open a packet of cards. So just letting you guys know. This is my road to 50 followers, the first um, to do with Twitch. Okay, so back to the sketch card. All right, what's next? Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep blending it out. Okay. So what am I gonna what am I gonna do? Um, I okay. A good rule is to do the light colors first and then the dark colors. So let's do Colossus metal skin and then finish with the reds of his uniform and armor. Okay, so let's do yeah. Let's do the face top, top right to bottom left. Huh? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate the blue. So I don't want everything to be blurred out because remember the face is the focal point. And I do want that um, in focus. Remember, as I said, this oil and the activation of the polychromous pigment, wax-based pigment will kind of give this beautiful blurred, slight blurred look. The great thing with the polychromous inks, uh, polychromous pencils, and the oil solvent is that you can apply something over on the top of it again, which is quite handy. Um, and I really just want to activate the shadows, That's right? And maybe the blue chrome. Man, it's already 4 four thirty, right? Man, time flies. After this um, stream at 5 p.m. Pretty much I'll finish the stream at 5 p.m., huh? Um, at 5 p.m. I'm going to go and do a quick cardio workout with um, my girl and do a bit of exercise for the day. So I am I, I am to a schedule. Maybe I'll, I'll I will definitely stream tonight in regards to my mail call. Um, I'll show you what uh, trading cards I had received in the mail for the week, and what um, any cool news that I have for you guys in regards to non-sport trading cards, um, especially for Marvel. Um, DC, Star Wars, and any sketch card work that I'm doing at the moment. For example, this Colossus one. Um, this sketch card isn't predominantly a commission. It Well, it isn't a commission. It's just an experimenting to see if I am um, just had a thought of an idea of a process that I want to use. Mm. So it feels like I want to make really vibrant colors for my sketch cards and I think I will steer away from using colored pencils at the flat coloring stage and just leave them for some light spot shading, you know what I mean. So, okay, let me just turn on my playlist. Mm -hmm. Activate this area. Like that. 
Nice. Good. All right, head towards the lateral area, his left, his left lat, lateral muscle, his back muscles. Um, armpit area, I want to have a lot of shadow. I think I will add some more black. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to add like, like a, and black shading because this is still nowhere near the, the the shadow contrast I want for this piece. Oh, three viewers. I wonder if you guys know, do you guys know if someone follows me, do I get a not notification? Or do I have to have like my stream, stream manager open or something? Or I'm not really sure how that works. Good, activating it. Yeah, because I, I might have to do like an acrylic ink wash, or maybe I will just use an, an ink wash over it to add some some depth to the shadows. Because the black pencil shadows is just not not enough. Okay, so now the next one is the yellows. I want to activate. Good. Under his chin, uh, his neck muscles, um, like the juggler area, I guess. I don't know the science, the biological name, the and the anatomical name, I guess. Mm, any more yellow? Yeah, here. Click on that. I want to blend this. Blend up here as well. Is there enough light? Right, let me see here. What if I turn my lamp on? Yeah, much better for me. It looks a little bit better for you guys. All right, cool. Let's do that. All right. Mm -hmm. I think we did finish with the orange. The yellows? No, yeah. Okay, so I'm up to the reds now. And I guess we'll finish off with the blue of his hair. Uh, oh, I forgot the orange of his dot. So let me do that. Oh, a bit naughty. Went straight to the red. The thing is, if you go um, and start um, activating darker colors, you need to clean the brush because then 
if you go on top of a lighter color, that color, lighter color will get polluted. And you don't want that, especially at this size. Right, now to his pants, rubbing and activating that pigment underneath. Again, just smoothing it out and just blending any two colors that you have laid underneath. Good. Good. Okay. And also, yeah, um, with the polychromos and baby oil, for some reason, baby oil kind of adds, creates like a, like a simple varnish look. So it kind of makes the colors even pop out even more, which is something I read and it kind of, it does work. It kind of does make these colors pop more. It, it blends and makes the shading more smoother, like maybe like blurs, but also it makes the colors pop underneath that you lay it down which is pretty cool and something i noticed with acrylic um they can well it depends on your color color mixing and your color palettes but they can sometimes be a little bit dull all right i think we're getting there pretty much Done. All right, and then we'll finish off with his blue head hair. Um, at this stage, I think, what's the time? 30 minutes. All right, cool. Let me just clean my brush. Um, so what do we have so far? We got this. Um, and the pen that I've used so far is 0 0.03 Copic Multiliner. Amazing. This will be my staple for sketch cards. And a BS, the brush pen, um, just to block in some dark shadows. And as you can see with the 0.03, it's very, very fine. Yeah. And it's very nice for the details at this at this stage. All right, I mean, we've got to let this dry. I could add some more inks if I wished, which I might actually. Uh, while that is drying, let me check out how the stream's going, just in case if I'm missing out anything. Cool. Oh, good. One view on Twitch. And that's, I like it. <laughs> Two viewers. All right. So. What else can I define with this? Okay, it's going to add a little bit more detail. There seems to be something happening under here. This thing. Good armpit. So remember my rule of down strokes are good, up strokes are not good, unless I'm warmed up and confident. Mm. 
Let's do it that way. It's all right, there you go. Adding some selective strokes. Because at some point I do want to add um, like the plating of Colossus's, Colossus's <laughs> armor. So yeah, he's got these like lines of plating armor. I think it's really cool and something I want to add. So I think something this pen can create at this level, at this size. Yeah, I'm really happy with this felt tip pen, 0 0.03, very small. Very happy with it. Maybe I feel like I want to render out the here. There. Oh man, this pen is so good. Nice, nice. I can't get like really faint detailed lines I can create. That's awesome. Yes, just defining the muscle of the Colossus, his tricep area, and let's do that same thing for his elbow. What I'm doing, I think it feels like I'm catching a lot of the pigment on the felt tip pen, so I'm cleaning it up. Cleaning it off as I go. Yep, that looks good. Looks good. And very good, very happy with that. Nice. This is cool, man. This pen 
telling you guys, pen is so good. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm feeling confident. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more detail. Let's see. Swap is pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, let's focus on his, some line work around his fingers. All right, 38 minutes, we're looking good, guys. Yeah, this pen is so badass. It makes things so much easier. I remember my first sketch card, I was like inking cards with like a, a one millimeter felt tip pen. And I was like, man, no way can I get the detail that I want from this size. <laughs> Crazy, right? So yeah, it's, it's a learning experience, but my goodness, a point zero three pen and a point five pacer really help. I know I, most pacers are point five mechanical pencils, and so I purchased a point two pencil, which helped so much, which does help so much. Good. The unique thing with Colossus, I think I'm going to say this below, but he has his really cool plate armor lines on his fingers and thumbs as well. Something I always liked to see when artists render that area. All right, from, from how the camera looks and there, yeah, it's starting to define. Yeah, my inking's. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm liking, I'm a looking and I'm a likey. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Where else, where else, where else? Can get some really faint lines. Happy with that. Which is good. I think I'm gonna render this really quickly. It's so good I can create these faint lines. It's amazing. So I'm very excited with this pen. Mm -hmm. 
Like I said, I don't want to do too much inking, but I'm having too much fun with this pen. It's too good. Can't press it that much anyway. Maybe it's because of the um the oil and the wax pigment of my pencils as well. Maybe that has something to do with it. Intentional. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. That's the main part, right? Are these faint lines look like from there? That me that gives me confidence to do the his horizontal lines of his plate armor, you know what I mean? Okay. I want to create a line for his pants. That kind of shows like a seam. Without adding too much detail. One here as well. Two in here. Yeah, it's a dress of thought buckle. Yes. Okay. So cool. Nothing too complicated. Right, I'm very happy with this. Anything I can do with his face now that I can have the confidence to create these faint lines. Yeah. Remember the rule the more detail you put in the face, the more aged it will look. She's kind of fine because Colossus can be a really angry guy. If you guys know Colossus from Age of Apocalypse, he's a very angry guy. Yeah, like that, that's pretty cool. Oh man, love is. Okay, don't want to push it. Yes. Okay, still happy with his face. Nice grimace. Um, I think I want to add the detail, of the plating around his fingers now. Let me have a look at that. Yeah, so I'm talking about that kind of stuff there. Mm -hmm. And pretty much he has these like circles of armor around his knuckles as well which look really cool when i take her out to his like fingertips and these kind of things All right, 
don't think I want to push it any further than that. Um, you know what, I have a blue pen, maybe that would be, look cool for his armor. Let's see the color it creates. Hmm? Yeah, but it's way too thick, right? I wonder if Poppy creates um, a pen, a blue pen at 0 0.03. Okay, there we go. there's some more line work, which looks good. Maybe I'll define his head as well. It's a little bit. How do we say? Undefined. It's going to hurt me if I don't. And I really love the um, shot, the sh his elbow shoulder area. Another detail it's creating. All right. I feel like I do want to tackle them. Let's just experiment it on this section. It's really faint. Yes, I like that. Good. Love it. Keep your controls off. Yes. Yes. Oh, that looks so cool, man. Just there. Oh, man, that looks so cool. Love it. A bit too close on that one. Too salvageable. It looks cool, man. Really defines the striations in his armor, which I'm liking. Okay, so let's do that for his bicep. God, this pen is everything. It's so good. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, I think it's the help of the the wax layers as well. It kind of limits the output of the ink. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't have as much to cling on to with the paper, so it's a little bit smoother. Damn, now I know how some of the artists do it, huh? They have to use this size and... limit some of the use of the 
much they paint. That is cool, man. It's turning out to be a really cool, one of my favorite pieces. I think I just like that. How you like it? Okay, so there's something funky happening with his arm here. Oh, let's clean that. Right, and it goes like this. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera there. So good. You can just scrape it on there without having to create such to find strokes. I'm loving it, guys. I think there's a breakthrough in my sketch cards. Something happens here. All right, well, there you go. And then with, when I add the highlights, it's going to look even more crazy. That's so sick. I think, yeah, it's all that. I think I'm happy with it. I'll do the inking. Um, see how far I go. We've got five minutes. And then I'll do the highlights for another string. I think it should be good. I'll cut it out and put it in a one-touch holder. And then, yeah, see what people reckon. I, I'm very happy with this pen. It will be a staple in my sketch card drawing from now on. Staple tool in my pen, sketch card pen art. Beautiful, look at that. Okay. It'd be nice enough to create like thin highlight lines as well. What do you guys, what do you guys, what do you think the one Twitch person I'm, is viewing this, or the Facebook person? <laughs> do you reckon it's looking good? I hope so. I hope you like it. Because I'm loving it. Mm hmm No, I missed the mark on that one, but it's all right.
I mean, I can feel the, the heat emanating from my camera, my phone's camera. Well, if you're interested in doing sketch cards, I highly recommend this Copic multi-liner to your arsenal. It's 0 .00, 0 0.03. It's making my life so much easier. All right, so let's do the lats. I'll do it this way. Okay, now that's confusing. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it this way. Mm -hmm. really defined. Mm -hmm. So still after these lines, I really want to push the chrome kind of look. So I have to tackle that somehow. Good, good, I think that's it. That is the inking done. And then to finish it off, I'm going to add some white highlights. Uh, the coloring is done, but I need to add some white highlights with my gel pens. And it looks like this my gel pens and the main workhorse is this uniball signal that's the bad boy you all want all right so i'll wrap it up here um thanks for joining me that one cool person who's on twitch or facebook um i might do a late stream for one hour after my mail call i think my mail call usually happens at 7 30 and hope to catch you all there. One more look of a little bit more inking. There. Looks pretty cool, huh? I'm really happy with it. Especially with this pen. Um, mastering how to control this pen, which is good. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Maybe later a bit tonight. Um, please join me for my mail call. I'll post that up on my Facebook group and on Twitch as well. And um, it's part of my schedule on Twitch. So let me know and I'll see you all later. Bye.